Hey guys, Zulkaris here and welcome back to Life Goes On. And last time, all my expectations for this game crashed and burned. Let's continue. Let's go to school with whoever this girl is. Oh, Yuki. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go. Chapter 2 Answers Another stupidly short transition. We are here. I like coming here with you. Okay. Thanks. You are pretty nice too. What are you doing here and there? Who said that? Um. I don't get it. Why does your sprite seem so weird compared to hers? I mean, both of you... Oh. Oh. That's why. First off, the positioning is off. Secondly, and this is the biggest problem here, these two things are of two different art styles. Even in anime, there are different types of anime and drawing. Or, yeah, I can't really phrase this right, but you know what I mean. Each people have different art styles. And even in this technique, even when drawing anime, art varies from person to person. So it's kind of bad when you jam two guys of varying art styles right next to each other in a single game. Rando. Yuki, what are you doing with a wimp like this? As my girlfriend, I won't allow you to meet with other guys. Oh, Rando, I thought we broke up. It was more one-sided. You're still mine. Um, as for you, new guy. Yes. Stay away from her if you know what's good for you. Uh, if she broke up with you, I wouldn't say... Don't mind him, he's random, my ex. He's very jealous and a narcissist. So I dumped him. You mean narcissistic, right? He sounds very convincing. Relax. I'm on cleaning duty today, so I have to go to class earlier. But we'll talk later. Bye. And she left. She is very kind and her powers might come in use. As for that rando guy, he's a jerk. I'll try to avoid him. I still have some time left, so I'd better go see Dr. Lloyd. He might have the answers I'm looking for. Oh, by the way, I did a little checkup. And yeah, this is from the question. The, the game that is given to you when you download uh, the RenP to help you figure out how scripts work. It's basically an example game you look at for reference. You stole this from that game too. That must be him. I'll try talking to him. My eyes are up here. Damn it. Excuse me. Are you Dr. Lloyd? By the way, I figured out why everyone looked so weird last time. See, because of the weird ass scaling, not only do everyone look like lollies and shorters, moreover, I feel like they're staring at my dick. So stop staring at me. Dr. Lloyd says, Yes, I am. And you must be Takashi. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. But how did you... How did you... Oh, come on! You use no when you're not supposed to. And now when the time comes that you're supposed to use no, you use I now. What the hell even is I now? Oh, God damn it. The pleasure is all mine, but how did you know my name? Or should I say, I know my name? It's my job to know everything, and I know many things about you. For example, your birthday is on 16th September. You're 5 feet and 9 inches tall, and your birth city is Nagasaki. That really is incredible. You're good. I know. Okay. Is there something you want? Well, I... Wait a second. If he knows this much information about me, he might have a connection with him. Can I trust him? He has a friendly face, but he could easily 
be faking it. He might provide me with important information, but I can feel a feel a that he has something to do with my past. Should I trust him? What should I do? You should save. And finally, we have three options. What are they? Ask for help. Don't ask for his help. Accuse him of having a connection with the murderer. Yeah, let's just do that and get ourselves killed. All right, Doctor Lloyd. I can sense that you have a connection with my with my past. Did you know my parents? I knew them very well. Why do you ask? That answer confirms my doubt. You, Doctor Lloyd, must have been the one who killed my parents. You're the murderer. Da 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 da. Yeah, I was trying to sing the Ace Attorney Corner theme, but missed that up horribly and came off as really really cringy. I am not. I respected your parents. They were noble people, and they were very close to me. I see, and because they were so close to you, it was easy for you to kill them. Da, 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 da. I said I didn't do it. It's no use hiding it. I'm reporting you to the principal. What good will that do? Takashi told the principal, but he didn't believe a word. Doctor Lloyd was an honorable man, and since Takashi didn't have any evidence, he got expelled. He never found out the truth about his past. But life goes on. Yesterday I was, yeah, I was really annoyed by this game, but now that I know what to expect, I'm having all the fun I can have. But this is not the fun I was looking for. I really wanted a serious visual novel. Is that too much to ask? God damn it! Okay, don't. Yeah, I'll ask for yourself. I want to know everything about this school and about the the tragic event that happened ten years ago. Very well. This school is a school for students with special powers. It was founded by four people: Mr. Clark and Miss Jewels, who are both dead. Miss Garcia and me. It was built on a graveyard. Are you shitting me? Fuck you, game. Fuck you. But why? Long ago, there was an evil vampire, Dimitri, who wanted to rule the world. His plan was to open a gate to the underworld and bring an army of doom hell monsters who were all slain by the mighty doom guy. I know that's not what it says, but it might as well at this point. But he was afraid, afraid that your father might stop him. Your father was a high-ranking vampire hunter named named Morris Baldwin, but he was shit. So Morris Baldwin would send Nathan Graves to kill him. One night, Dimitri decided to eliminate the threat. And he killed both your parents. Wait, a famous vampire slayer. Both parents dead. Vampire slayers. Takashi, are you Nathan Graves? No, I shouldn't insult one of the strongest protagonists in gaming ever. It can't be. What happened to him? I will get my revenge. I doubt that. Dimitri tried to open the gate, but we, the four founders, stopped him. In order to seal the gate, we had to build this school. What? Okay. Riddle me this. First off, what good would building a sc- school over a, what appears to be a hell gate do? And secondly, why the fuck would you build a school on top of a hell gate? Do you want a demon invention to break up thirteen a school and kill tons and tons of innocent uh, children? You're more evil than the icon of sin. And the icon of sin literally, actually, the icon of sin doesn't do much. He just stays stuck in the wall and says. To win the game, you must defeat me, John Romero, in backwards. As for Dimitri, he disappeared that night and was never seen again. Are you Dimitri? That is all. Thank you very much, Doctor Lloyd. You solved the whole puzzle for me. My advice is to stop thinking about it. You won't be able to find Dimitri, presuming he's still alive. Before I forget, you two have unique. You know, for a doctor who founded a school. You certainly have trouble spelling stuff. Your family comes from a generation of vampire slayers. That's why you were accepted in this school. This unique family power is becoming a vampire. What? Well, not literally. You see, your family line drank the blood of vampires they killed. Thanks to this, they were able to get vampire-like strength. <laughs> strength. I think you are supposed to read that as strength. 
vampire like stinked these people are known as e level vampires or half bloods that doesn't sound too awesome but why can't i access these powers something in your past must have happened that blocked these powers along with your memories go home and get some rest if you need any he- more help count on me get some rest school's just starting thank you doctor can you teach me to control these powers yes i can if you want some training come here tomorrow after class and i'll show you how to unleash that power goodbye do i really like this music but the way it's really repetitive and keeps looping also the way it seems so familiar i'm guessing it's also stolen from somewhere i can't believe this it's so hard what next was my quest in vain i'll go home for now what now what should i do i need to clear my mind maybe dinner will help me clear my mind after dinner knock 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 who's there my name is ayame please let me in fine come in another wait i am staring intently at her because i think i figured out why everyone looked like lolis and shorters here the reason being it's not that the positioning of the sprites were wrong it's that they were literally scaled down to lolly size how the fuck do you mess that up thanks for letting me in i saw i saw leave and you looked pretty sick i thought that you could use some help i saw you leave i'm fine there's nothing wrong with me i'm glad we are in the same class we are also i have well you're very handsome and i like you i heard what happened to your parents it must have been hard for you i think you need some one close to you right now um slow down slow the freak down we just met we literally met like a few less than a minute ago and only in like 30 seconds you're confessing your love to me do you even logic great she's got a crush on me i'm not in the mood i hope we can become closer you can trust me are you in under the only way i can rationalize your behavior is if you are in under it stay away from me under this but given how nonsensical this game is rationalizing anything is a mistake she is very sweet and gentle and not bad looking she must also have unique powers that's how she found where i lived she has a super yender powers whoops or she followed me either way i'm too tired and i need to get some sleep thank you for your concern no problem i have to go now bye that was a, that was weird and abrupt better get some sleep now tomorrow i'll unleash my powers it's a new day maybe unlocking my powers will refresh my memory after class takashi went straight for dr lloyd's office so your office is a lecture hall why the fuck is your office a lecture hall i see that you came yes doctor my body is ready very well then let me explain how this works i am all ears your powers are blocked by inner doors located near the human pressure points i am going to open these doors to do that i have to insert needles in your body one needle for each door however this is a painful process you may not survive you mean acupuncture is not really that painful if you know what you're doing acupuncture isn't really that painful it's relaxing actually as far as i've heard so if you say you may not survive an acupuncture process it means you have no idea what you're doing do you dr lloyd are you even a real doctor are you sure you wish to continue yes i am very well then before we start yes have you any more questions for me save 
No, let's begin. Have you done this type of operation before? Do you know my parents? I already know that. Have you done this type of operation before? I did it once, but not for opening doors. I did it to close them. Your father and I captured a dangerous vampire once that could only be killed by shutting down his powers. The principle is the same, so don't worry, I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Have you any more questions for me? Oh, I can ask all of them. Did you know my parents? I knew them very well. Your father was my best friend. Are you Mor Morris? No, Morris isn't that dumb. Stop insulting competent video game characters. So, so is Morris even competent? We went on my, we went on many mission together. First of all, it's many a mission, and second of all, that's not how you spell many. Because I too am a vampire slayer. I used to spar with him on every occasion. Out of 75 matches, I won 31 times and lost 44. Now, you know I have a crazy theory about Castlevania Circle of the Moon. You know Morris Baldwin? Yeah. I'm thinking he is actually related to the Morris line. You know, a descendant or maybe an ancestor of Jonathan. Your mother was very beautiful. She had a laugh at that need your sadness go away. I don't know what need means and I don't know what and I don't think I want to find out. The nov the nov uh, damn it. The name of your parents are Charles Van Hoosen and Lady Catherine V. Lancelot. Those names sound familiar. Have you any more questions for me? Let's so begin. Very well then. Here comes the first needle. Ah! Shit, it hurts. You reacted much better than I expected. This is only the first needle. With each needle, the pain is going to increase and the number of needles I need to inject is 101. Keep going. 45 minutes later. It seems that he's fainted. Such a shame. And I had only one little needle left. I'd better call an ambulance. Where? Where do you? Think you're going. You're still awake. I'm surprised that you made it this far. Insert the last needle and end it. I warn you that needle number 101 goes directly in your heart. Brace yourself. No, you don't put needles in people's heart in acupuncture. That's murder. You are a shitty doctor. Ah, the pain, it's too great. Ah, shit, shit, shit. And I died. No, I didn't. Where am I? I see that you're awake. I've brought you back home. I've brought you back home. Congratulations, the operation was a success. How do you feel? I feel good and invincible. Don't let it go to your head. Tomorrow's uh, Sunday, so you don't have to come to school. Feel free to relax. Thank you so much, Dr. Lloyd. I'll be taking my leave now. I feel so tired. Maybe I need some fresh air. I'll go to the park tomorrow. Romance. It's a new day today. I still have many doubts. I go to the park and clear my mind. <laughs> but I don't feel like going by myself. I could ask Saime to come with me. She said she liked me so bad that I just met her. And that was the cringiest singing ever. Brought to you by Sulkares. I could also ask Yuki. She's nice and I feel comfortable around her. But I might have trouble with Ren Rondo. There's also Elika. She's always been there for me when I needed her. Then again, she might get on my nerves with her jokes. There are so many choices. Who should I call? I think I'll call. I think I'll call Save. Hello? Save? Yeah, get me out of here. Take me. Please load your save file. Miss Save. And take me to a really, really good visual novel. Hello? Miss Save hung up. Anyway, I'll go with IMA because she has the makings of Yandere and I really want to see this guy get murdered right now. IMA left a good impression. She's sweet and cute. I'll call her. Phone ringing. Yes, who is it? It's me, Takashi. I wanted to ask you if you want to go with me to the park. To the park? With you? Like a date? I'd love to. 
I'll see you there. Bye. She's very excited. I'd better get ready too. Funny, you're still wearing the same clothes you've been wearing for the past three days. Here I am. This park is way bigger than I imagined. I see Ayame waiting for me. I'd better head over there. And I see more and more conflicting art styles. Guys, generally, I ask you to do this at the end of each series. But I'm going to ask you to do this now because I'm really desperate at this point. If you know any, and I mean any, visual novel that's at least good or I don't know, decent, please link them to me or at least mention them to me. I want to play a good visual novel, preferably a romance one because the last romance visual novel I've played was Katawa Shoujo. And to be fair, that's a tough fact to follow in my opinion. You know, I could rant about Katawa Shoujo right now, but I'm not gonna. It'll be boring. If you want to hear me rant, say so in the comments below and I'll do it at the start of the next video. Hi, I am me. Hi, I am me. Thanks for coming. Don't mention it. I'd go to the end of the world for you. You'll do... I'll do anything for it. Yoi, because... Because I love you. I'm waving the yonder flag. If you had chase cam, <laughs> I said chase cam. I called the face cam a chase cam. Whatever. If I had face cam, you'd see me waving my hands like an idiot, pretending to wave a flag. Just imagine it. Because I love you. What? The moment I walked in your house and I saw you, it was love at first sight. I know about your past and your stress. I can make you happy. Leave your problems behind. And except for the weird slurpy sounds, that's what a yandere and actually with the slurpy sounds, that's what a yandere sounds like in real life. Yep, you're getting more yandere with each second. And move forward with me. I mean, looks really serious. I can't deny the fact that I like her. I have feelings for her, but is this right? Am I ready to break my promise? Just break? What promise? Just for a moment. On the other hand, I might never find the Dimitri. My quest could end now. What should I do? Save. Confess your three-day-old love. Three-day-old rotten, cheesy, swelly love for her. Or I could just tell her I'd get killed. I'll do that. Tell her that you're not ready yet. I'm sorry, I may, but I don't feel ready. Even if it's impossible, I have to keep my promise. I understand if that's how you feel. I'm leaving. Bye. No, wait. You're in Yandere. You're supposed to stab this guy to death. It's real. It really is hard. I think I'll head downtown for now. Huh. For some reason, this guy has no and now confused. He spells no with an I and now with a K. Did something go wrong with formatting the script? No, then there won't... No, wait. Could they... I don't know, guys. Could they... The, all these dialogue problems be a result of a messed up script? What shall I do next? What is my destiny? I still have so many questions. Hi, Alan. You ugly, ugly son of a bitch. Hi there. Oh, hi, Alan. I'm glad I found you. I looked everywhere for you. For me, why? I've been asked to deliver this letter to you. I don't know what it contains. And I'll be leaving so you can read it. Bye! Zuka has passed away at this point. I wonder what it says. Hey, if you want to know how to find Dimitri and how to achieve your revenge, come to school at 9 pm. I'll be waiting at the back. Back entrance. Rando. How does he know? This guy might have important clues. It's time to put an end to everything, including yourself. Yay, conclusion. Oh. The music stopped. Thank God, as much as I like the music, the repetitive thing I've been listening to you for the past 25 minutes has been slowly gnawing away at my nerves. This place looks spooky. Rando, where are you? There's no need to shout. I'm here. You said you have some information. Tell me now. Alright, I am Dimitri. Is this a joke? You can be him. Why not? Vampires live for ages. I simply borrowed this body.
you don't look creepy i'm guessing you trying to look creepy but you looked deformed and not in the scary type of deformed like unintentionally deformed is this some shitty fan art of elucard or dracula i don't know anymore this is my true form you you bastard why why did you why did you do all of this what is your goal the gate to the underworld has been closed what else do you want answer me before i kill you this music is too awesome for this visual novel i wonder which anime it's stolen from or it could just be another game you kill me don't make me laugh i'm stronger than you you're only a filthy e level my goal is to reopen the gate the gate is kept closed by the heavy aura of the students must be one hell of a shitty gate if the presence of some lousy teenagers um i'm a teenager myself so i regret saying that but i'm going on with it if the presence of some lousy teenagers is all it takes to keep it closed you know what i take back my apology i may be a teenager but the all the teenagers in this cross academy is lousy is yes, are i'm messing up my grammar now the powers that this student possess are generating an intense aura of confusion annoyance and, and suicidal tendencies which keeps the gate closed which keeps the gate closed that and this is your pure shit level of this anime i mean visual novel i have infiltrated this school in order to reverse the process i will let the gate feed on the aura and my army will be unstoppable you know the cringe level will surpass this game and be over 9000 i'm telling you this because you are going to die like your father you could become a vampire slayer and interfere in my plan so you are going to die i've killed your father when he was fragile you're the same now you're mentally unstable i won't give up without a fight i won't lose to you because as what you don't know is you think you can surpass the crap level of this visual novel but this is only the first form because for the once it powers up yeah, it will reach the super crap god super crap form and that has a power sorry has a crap level of over 8 octillion i mean 9 octillion it will be a short one i don't think so who's there hi you quack of a physician well if it isn't doctor if it isn't lloyd how did you find out it wasn't that hard and also it is my job to know everything takashi i'll fight beside you we can win together even if you both take me on you won't beat me so what will it be what should i do save and be a bitch be the bitch you are in that case if that's the case then i'm out of here fool that's what i was waiting for you made a mistake in the script the i'm out of here was a was supposed to be said by takashi not dimitri when takashi tried to escape dimitri used it that chance and killed them both nobody knows what happened to dimitri after that takashi died it and he didn't achieve his revenge but life goes on no life doesn't when hell breaks loose the last thing that goes on is life in fact 90% of the earth's population's life ends right then right there and it takes one bad as known as doom guy or any of the doom players playing as doom guy to fix everything fight him we'll take you on you can't beat both of us ack that was cringy and surprising ow <laughs> i need to hear that i need to hear that again listen whoops wrong one mm. 
Ow. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell did I just listen to? Finally over. <laughs> yes, I don't know why, but I don't feel better. It's normal. Revenge never gets you anywhere. Thank you so much, Dr. Lloyd. I could have been killed without you. By saving you, I paid my debt to your father. There is only one more choice for you to make. Dimitri's blood. If you decide to drink it, you could become a pure blood. If you do drink it, you might be haunted by the by other vampire slayers. Sorry, hunted. If you don't drink it if you don't drink it, you may never find your goal in life. What will you do? Drink his blood. Very well then. Takashi drank Dimitri's blood. Now, you are a pure blood. What will you do next? I will find a bride to sit by my side. Do what you think is best. I don't think we'll see each other again. Goodbye. Takashi managed to keep his promise. He killed Dimitri and he took revenge for his parents' death. He became a pure blood and used his power to kill many monsters and help the weak. Many vampire slayers hunted him, but none of the none of the managed to kill Takashi. That's because all of the wait, Elika, Yuki, and Ayame joined him, and all three of them became his harem of wives. Yeah, the reason no one managed to kill him. Is because uh, no one competent went after him. You'd have to be really desperate, really bad at your job, and uh, really shitty to go after someone like that. He made them vampires, and the four of them had many children. Even today, the four of them are still out there somewhere, and they are and they are happy together. Life goes on. Anyway, guys. That's it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment and or subscribe. Dislike it if you hated it. I'm Zulkares who has been emotionally drained by this game. And I'll see you next time.